Let's start with question number 11. It says prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. So yes, you have a circle and outside it we have a rhombus and sorry, parallelogram and what? And then we have to prove this parallelogram as rhombus. A, B, C, D, you have parallelogram. Then you have to prove that your A, B, C, D is a rhombus. So let's see how we can prove it. Okay. So so you have these points involved. अब हम देखते हैं कि कैसे हम इसको proof करेंगे rhombus. तो सबसे पहले you need to mention the two proof part, which is A B C D is a rhombus. This is done. अब आ जाते हैं proof पे. तो proof में क्या होगा आपका? That सबसे पहले जो given part है वो ये है कि A B C D आपका parallelogram है. और parallelogram की property क्या होती है? That the opposite sides are equal. So opposite sides को हम पहले mention कर देते हैं. That is AB equals to DC and AD is equal to BC. What you have to mention is opposite sides are equal in measurement. So this is done. उसके बाद you can see कि हमारे पास हर जगह पे एक external point है. जैसे D हो गया, जैसे C हो गया. जैसे B हो गया आपका, जैसे A हो गया, हर जगह पे external points हैं और वहाँ से tangent है, तो आपका AQ किसके equal हो जाएगा? It will be equal to AS first of all. AQ is equal to AS. Why? Because these are the tangents drawn from the external point. So yes, you can mention that they are the tangents from point A. Point of contact is A. AQ or AS are equal then on the other side you can see that QB is equal to BR so I can mention that QB is equal to BR this is tangent from point B then we have C C pe kya aapka RC will be equal to PC so you have to mention that PC is equal to RC and this is from point C. Then from point D, D से क्या होगा आपका? P C के साथ it will be P D and on the other side we have S D. This will be from point D. Now what you have to do is you have to add the left hand side and the right hand side. From that we'll be able to prove that all the sides are equal क्योंकि ये दोनों तो already हैं but we have to look for the one more side then only we can prove it. So let's add add all the left hand side and right hand side so it will be AQ plus QB first of all then you have PC plus PD then you have AS plus SD then last one will be PR plus RC so left side pe kya hoga? we have AB PC plus PD PC plus PD will be CD and then we have AS plus SD, it will be AD, then we have BR plus RC, it will be BC. So, we have to substitute the values and then we will be able to find the final answer. AB can be replaced with CD, AD will be as it is, I am keeping as it is, BC can be written as AD. So, this will be twice of CD is equal to twice of AD. 2 and 2 can be cancelled. So you will get one more link between CD and AD. So yes, from these three, from one equation, second equation, we can say all the sides are equal. 1 and 2, complete 1 and 2. We can say that AB is equal to BC, BC is equal to CD and DA. Then in the end you can write ABCD is a parallel is a rhombus or as all sides are equal it will be a rhombus so yes this is your answer for the 11th one now we'll be moving to the 12th one